suicidal. One, see the northern lights. Two, touch a whale. Although I have no interest in becoming a marine biologist or working at SeaWorld, so I will also settle for just seeing one. I want to know how big is biggest on Earth. I want to size up to scale and remember how small I really am. Three, have a good day. This means 24 hours without wanting to slip under the storm drains like rain, keeping myself from quintupling the knife hole dosage and go an entire night without flirting with the steak knives for. Mean something to someone. I have written enough love letters, I could repurpose them as wallpaper, but perhaps the greatest fault in being a writer is having countless ways to tell someone I love you and only hearing one way back. Five. Sit under a thunderstorm and get Pacific Ocean drenched. Feel the thunder shake every bone in my body and let the lightning deflate my lungs. I want to watch the sky surge with more life than I've ever felt within the bonds of this body. Six, break every mirror in the house. Seven, skydive. See how much I value my life when I can't close my eyes from losing it. Eight, kiss him like a last letter. Let him touch everything but my sleeves. Nine, I'm not writing this list as a joke. More like the way my grandmother tells me to go everywhere that isn't wheelchair accessible. I am her two good legs, her two vicarious good legs with buckled knees. Yes, more nights than not, I want to die, but I just want to make sure I'm not missing the best parts. Ten, live long enough to hold his hand across the rocking chairs. Ten, laugh with your granddaughter when she asks to paint your nails electric purple. Sing when you clean your kitchen and fall in love with the crow's feet collecting in your corners like wings almost ready to take flight. Ten, live long enough to watch it happen.